And New South Wales Treasurer Matt Keane is trying to shut down outgoing Transport Minister David Elliott's hopes of contesting an upper house ticket after the Liberal Party kicked out Liberal MP Peter Poulos. Kenny Heatley has the latest. Yes, that's right, Tom. So Peter Poulos was disendorsed by the Liberal Party and suspended for six months, meaning he won't be able to contest the New South Wales election following a nude photo scandal. Uh, now, this is basically leaves an upper house ticket open and David Elliott, the high profile uh, transport minister from New South Wales, who lost his seat due to a boundary redistribution, was on Sydney radio this morning saying that he would like to be considered for the upper house ticket. Now, he's from the right of the party, but the moderates aren't keen. Uh, but Premier Dominic Perrottet, it was clear this morning at the press conference he didn't want to be involved in the factional discussions, but had some nice things to say about David Elliott. Here's a bit more of that. I certainly can confirm I've told the Premier that um, I, I would like to be considered, uh, but uh, the Liberal Party being what it is, we have to go through processes. That's appropriate. That's proper. Uh, but, uh, you know, as I've said all along, I said, you know, I, I, I'm not going to spit the dummy. Um, I, ex I accept the fact that uh, uh, politics is a brutal game and the fact that uh, redistributions can destroy careers. It certainly ended mine. If there was a pathway, I'd come back. This may be a pathway. That, of course, was David Elliott on Sydney Radio this morning. That's great. I didn't think we had that grab ready. But here's the Premier in response. That's a matter for the organisation. Um, they need to go through uh, those processes um, and I expect them to do that as soon as possible. David Elliott and Treasurer Matt Keane have had some very public spats over the past couple of years. We know they don't like each other. Uh, here's what the Treasurer had to say about David Elliott potentially running for that upper house ticket. What I'd like to see is a female fill that vacancy. Uh, that's no secret. Um, I've been campaigning uh, on that front for a while and uh, that's what I think should happen here. Uh, look, this is about uh, what's best for the uh, state of New South Wales. I think it's a great opportunity to put a strong female candidate in. Kenny, this has been quite the election and pre-election period for both sides. Candidates falling over everywhere. What's the Premier had to say about the latest allegations hanging over <laughs> a Liberal MP? Peter Sidgreaves, yes, the Camden MP, as you say, uh, Liberal candidates, they're dropping like flies. Um, less than five weeks now out from the New South Wales election. So Peter Sidgreaves has bullying and uh, bullying allegations that were levelled against him in a letter that was sent to the Premier on Friday from a member from his own office. Now, the Premier was at the press conference, asked about this, whether Peter Sidgreaves had... Uh, his support and whether he was going to contest the election. Um, well, here's what the Premier had to say. There's an independent complaints officer that has been established uh, through the New South Wales Parliament. Uh, they deal with those complaints in an independent and in a confidential and appropriate way. He says that as of now, Peter, Peter Sidgreaves is going to contest the election. But watch this space, depending on whether we get uh, a result of that independent complaints.